guys welcome back to my channel today i have for you tons of cleaning and laundry motivation and also some packing motivation because um, in this video i'm actually getting ready for our trip to south dakota um, we are back now from our trip so i might talk about that a little bit throughout this video but there are some things that i needed to get done packing is obviously one of them so I decided to film it for you guys to give you a little bit of motivation in case you have a trip coming up yourself or in case you need to clean your house because it seems like we always need to do that all the time. <laughs> um, so first things first, I'm just going through all the bedrooms, giving them a good tidy and vacuuming. I'd love to leave the house clean and orderly so that when we come home after a long yet enjoyable vacation. We come home to a nice clean home to rest our heads at the end of the night. So that is what I'm starting off for at first in my son's room and then I'm going to move on to the rest of the bedrooms. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you are like and let's just keep getting things done. What you do Next, I am in my daughter Elena's room, just doing a quick tidy up in here. It wasn't too awful, but I had some books to pick up as per usual in her room and garbage to take out. I wanted to make sure all of the garbage was taken out in the entire house um, before we left, just so that things don't get smelly or yucky or, you know, bugs, whatever. So took out her lawn or her garbage and now I'm just doing a tidy up over her bed and then a good vacuum in here as well. And now I'm just doing the same thing in our bedroom, just doing a quick, quick tidy up in here and vacuuming as well. Um, we have some laundry here that we are going to choose what we're going to bring on our trip. 
and I had intentions on folding the rest and putting it away, but time got away from us and I wasn't able to complete that task um, before we had to go. So um, this night, I, this day I actually filmed, we were leaving the next day at 2 a.m. So we had a lot to get done and not a lot of time to do it. Um, and it worked out great. We left at 2 a.m. and the kids were wonderful. They woke up around 6 a.m. and then we got breakfast and then we only had a few hours left of our trip. And um, if you saw my video a few videos ago where I talked about some of the things I picked up for them entertainment wise for our trip, um, it worked out great. I did have to switch a lot of the time for my three-year-old. I think he was just super excited to see everything that I had got and he wanted to just see it all and play with it all. So that was a bit annoying, but some of the items did hold their attention for a while. So that was great. Um, we couldn't have asked for a better travel, but I'm just going to finish up this room with a good vacuuming and then we're going to move on to the little bit of laundry that I was able to get done today. Show me your love like it is, like it is. And open my heart like you're fearless. Steal all the gold you can get, you can get. Show me your love and leave me breathless, breathless. What I like to do when I'm getting ready for trips, ever since having kids, it just makes it a little bit easier. I, of course, have a list, like a packing list of everything that we need, how many of everything that we need. Um, that way, I don't forget anything. We have enough clothes, especially for toddlers. I mean, you know how much clothes they can go through. So I wanted to pack plenty of extra outfits. Um, even a couple extra jammies just in case and um, you know if it was colder I wanted to have colder weather items so I wrote that all down and now what I'm just going through is going through their laundry and kind of putting it on the floor like outfits that I'm planning out for them um, sets of jammies so that I can count those out as I go um, and then I'm just kind of making a little area for my son's clothes and then for my daughter's clothes and That is kind of how I <laughs> How I plan it all out just to make sure that I don't forget anything um, And then once I have it all ready to go, I'll put it in a suitcase So I needed to wait for a little bit more laundry to finish for my kids. So now I'm back in our room 
And I'm doing the same thing for my clothes for this trip. So I'm just going through laundry, picking out what I want to bring for vacation, um, and just kind of sorting it out. My husband did all of his clothes, obviously. I don't know what he wants to wear, what he wants to bring. So he was in charge of his own stuff. Um, but I'm just picking out all of the items of clothing that I want to make sure to bring. And then I will fold that and put that in the suitcase. So as I mentioned earlier, um, this was our first family vacation to South Dakota. It was our biggest vacation we've done as a family of four and it was so much fun. I couldn't believe how many fun things they had to do in South Dakota. We stayed in the Black Hills. Um, I'm, we're home now, obviously I'm talking in past tense. Um, but we stayed in the Black Hills and so there was so much, so much to do for us, like me and John, but also for the kids to do, which we also enjoy as well. So we were in entertained the entire trip. It was beautiful weather. The only setback was that it was Sturgis Motorcycle Rally, <laughs> which didn't really impact us too much, except for um, one day when we wanted to do, when we went to Deadwood and a couple other places, they were just, kind of everywhere <laughs> so it was a little bit um, anxiety provoking driving around them um, but also a little bit annoying to hear motorcycles rumble wherever you go but for every other day it really didn't impact us too much so we had so much fun on our trip and we can't wait to go back again but I'm just finishing kind of checking off things off my list and packing my clothes in there nicely. My husband's clothes, he just kind of folded and plopped in there, but I'm doing my whole KonMari folding just because it helps me be able to see everything that I put in there. Now that my kids' laundry is all done, I am just neatly folding their clothes and putting it in the suitcase. I started to do the KonMari fold with their clothes as well, but it's just too tiny and just wasn't working out in the suitcase. So I decided to do lay them flat in the suitcase, which works really well for kids' clothes. Um, I just kept all the outfits together, all of the sets of jammies together, just so that we can quick grab it out of the suitcase when we need it and we don't have to disrupt the rest of the suitcase. We're not the type of people that like unpacks at vacation, you know, they always have dressers and stuff, but we never choose to do that. We just live out of a suitcase. So I wanted to make it as functional as possible. Like a light lighting up in the dark. You make it right. And that is all I was able to include in today's video before I had to go into survival mode and get things done late, late at the end of the night. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope it gave you tons of whether cleaning or laundry or packing motivation. If you are packing, tell me where you or your family is headed to next. I love to hear about family vacations and I like to learn about new places to go because we definitely want to travel a lot as a family. It was really fun. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.